Hi, my name is Adam. And uh, one of the things that I like to do is walk through neighborhoods, through the woods, through parks, and on mountains. I like to walk. So join me, and together we'll take a step to see the world. Welcome to the uh, bus station at the Washington Square Mall in Tiger or Beaverton, Oregon. This is during the coronavirus and the mall is dead. Uh, that way. This way, there are quite a few more cars than I expected there would be. But I think that is probably for the park and ride for the bus transit center here because a lot of buses do come through here. Now, uh, in Oregon, we have uh, flattened the curve, I suppose, for the coronavirus, COVID-19. And the governor was just discussing today about counties being able to reopen shortly. So I thought it would be cool if I could take this last bit of opportunity to walk around the mall and see it in this empty state. Um, the mall, as far as I know, is closed. Um, some webs, most websites say it's closed, but a few say that it's still open. And will even be open till 9 p.m. tonight. I don't. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I mean, there's like nobody here. Um, but I can check the doors up there. That's an entrance to the mall. <clears throat> okay. So, um, I also understand that as of today, one of my favorite restaurants is closing all of its establishments. It is a buffet type restaurant and they just can't, they can't, they can't afford to, uh, be in business anymore. Okay. This says the entrance is closed. In fact, every door here says the same thing. Entrance is closed. So I'm going to walk this way around this and see how far I can get before mall security comes and takes me away or tells me to stop. This is just so strange. This mall opened up in like 1972 and it's seen a lot of stores come and go. Um, JC Penney's right here in front of me was on hard times before this and it would really make me sad to see this place go but after Sears had to close like last year the year before um, I'm gonna say anything is possible heartbreaking to see Sears in its last few days and I really wish I'd been able to get some more pictures of it or pictures of it at all this is JC Penny don't let the uh, word Sephora there fool you although Sephora is inside JC Penny and their doors say they are temporarily closed let me see. But see, there are still people driving around here. I don't know. I remember when I was young, boy, did I love this little alcove here. And there's a few of them. Uh, my parents used to always come and get he these huge boxes of Tide laundry detergent here. And, uh, 
they would actually give it to us at the drop-off area around the side where we're headed. But like here, I used this metal grate. It sounds the same when I walk on it now. I used to, when I was a kid, I would pretend these were railroad tracks and I would run up and down them. And to my kid ears, I thought they sounded like railroad tracks and that's still there. That is a uh, relic <laughs> from a past memory, right? Now, spring is totally in bloom in Oregon. It is uh, May 7th. 2020 today. Um, two days ago was Cinco de Mayo. And uh, kind of a somber one, right? Because every place is closed. <laughs> Pretty much. So this was the drop-off area where you could come and pull up and the stuff you were ordered would be brought out to your car. And here's some more of those railroad track things on the ground here. And there are still some cars. I'm thinking these are mostly cars from uh, either people doing the park and ride or they are cars for people who work in security, possibly even managers. Um, you have to park somewhere, <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah, lots of people driving around. I'm not the only one who's checking this place out to see it in its empty state. Look at this. They still got shipping trucks here. That's cool. Uh, this is just the oddest sight because normally, especially back here, this parking lot is always super packed. Uh, they may be saying that we're in an era of dead malls, but this is not really one of them. Despite sales numbers of, uh, in Sears going under, this is not really a dead mall. There are thousands and thousands of people who visit this place every day on a good day. And this parking lot back here regularly gives evidence of that. There's another J.C. Penney entrance. This one is also closed. I don't think they're doing ball walking at this point. Which is too bad because it would be cool to see the inside of the place empty too. Although I've seen that a lot growing up, as it gets near closing time and the mall empties out and all the stores put their gates down in front of their, you know, main entrances. Oh. Hmm. But I have to wonder what stores inside this place are going to survive this lockdown. Um, this mall is home to, I understand, over 200 mall, um, stores and services. And they can't all be lucky. They can't all be lucky. It'd be great if they were, but, I mean, they can't all be. This guy is moving a television set. Okay. We're coming up to where security... Uh, a security checkpoint is. We'll see if they let me really get beyond that. See, there's a security office right there in the distance. Right, uh, well, right there. Let's see. This guy go by. It's getting friendly enough. Yeah moving stuff in and out. That's cool. There's a fire lane. No parking. 
I mean, your parking is ample. <laughs> you wouldn't have to park there. Here's another bus uh, stop right here. Actually, yeah. It's maybe a smoking vestibule, I don't know. I know there are a few bus stops around here. I don't think that's one of them. This is an entrance to a Starbucks location. It's actually really nice, and there was a Cinnabon there. One of the last Cinnabons that I knew of locally. It used to be like every Fred Myers had a Cinnabon built into it, which was wonderful. <laughs> Those closed a few years back. Uh, the curbside pickup, look at that, for the Summit Court. The Summit Court is the food court. I understand some of the restaurants are still offering to go orders. So that's really cool that they're doing pickup. I wonder how. I wonder if they actually are. Hmm. Interesting. Here's a shoe mill entrance. Lots of birds out today. Hi, babies. Uh -oh. These are also closed. This is the entrance to the downstairs part of the food court. And the only food that the downstairs portion has near the food court is right across the way where a seized candy is. I don't consider that food. This store still has all its lights on. Check this out. Cool. So they still got stuff in there. So that makes sense. The lights are all on. I don't want to deter uh, you know, theft or vandalism. It is so silent out here. This is just so weird. I'm not used to this at the mall at all. The ventilation system's on. I heard that right above me. But it is getting warmer, so that's just probably air conditioning, although this air conditioner right here is not on at the moment. seafood company I've been into this one and it was not bad but I have also been into a Portland seafood company that was in Portland and I thought it was like the worst food I had ever been served but this one here was not bad but it's been a long time since I've been in there that entrance is also closed all of the entrances are closed well this one says they're open come on in I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> don't believe it for a second. Oh, I heard a voice. There's somebody in there. Cool. And there are people parked back here. At least one car. Two cars, maybe. Not too many. But it does show there are people here. Hey, yeah, there's the mall security. He's coming to check me out. That's cool. security lets me pass by unscathed all right that's great that's great i can't be the only one who wanted to check this out you know they've, they've, they've got to be used to it by now <laughs> 
So you do wonder, um, a lot of the stores are still open, not in the mall. The mall, I understand, is totally closed. Except for possibly the uh, curbside pickup for the uh, food court over there. Which has nobody in it. Because this place is dead. There ain't nobody here. But, uh, yeah, like a lot of, a lot of stores are still open that I go to almost every day because I've got a family and I have, uh, you know, five cats and they all need food. They all need supplies. So a lot of stores are still open. And those stores that I go to are becoming very lax on their social distancing rules. Um, like um, some of the grocery stores up until like just this week had uh, arrows taped to the ground to show which way to go in aisle. And starting this week, I noticed those arrows are not there anymore. And uh, the weather is getting nicer. Lots more people are coming out. And a lot of people are still wearing masks, but fewer um, seem to be. And... They're not giving each other the six feet of room between each other anymore. They just, I don't know, they're just not doing it anymore. But I do wonder, what this mall is going to look like when it does reopen because new guidelines are going to require some room between people and on busy days, uh, this place has no room between people. Little room between people. <clears throat> Whew, it is allergy season. Oh my gosh. Whew. Okay, this is where the Sears used to be. Right here. This Sears closed down a while ago. And even when this Sears was open... This is like the best place in the mall to actually find parking. <laughs> but uh, right now, it actually has a lot of cars in it. You know, compared to the rest of the place that didn't have so many cars parked in it. But there seems to be a good bit of cars there. Although over here in the other section of the lot, there's nobody. But at least in this one, there's quite a few. Quite a few cars, like a good dozen cars there or something. Maybe more. Now, this Sears had a lot of good stuff, and sometimes they had really good prices. Like, uh, right before this Sears closed, I bought, like, the best pair of work pants I think I've ever had in my life here. And they're still holding strong. And that's, like, a good, you know, year and a half, two years now. So, that's saying something to me. And there are quite a few cars here, too. Look at this. And it's one with even the lights on over here. This is a undercover in a parking garage. I don't know if I can go through here. I'm going to find out. If I can go through here, that's cool, but I don't know if I can. I don't know. Hey, that uh, set of doors there doesn't say closed. This is the largest Nordstrom's in the state of Oregon, I understand, right here. It's pretty big. It wasn't nearly this big before they remodeled it like 20 something years ago. They remodeled it and uh, actually changed locations, I think. It is a lot larger now. And it has a bunch of different things inside of it. Yeah, this uh, parking garage. Empty. Totally empty.
I'm not one to usually shop in Nordstrom's. Um, yeah, pretty flowers. Like I said, spring has sprung in Oregon. And the bees are seriously buzzing. Oh yeah, oh that's cute. Let's see if I can get a picture of this thing. Let's see. Ooh. I don't wanna bother it so much. There's a pretty bee in there. Yeah, doing his work. Doing his work. Okay. And these guys too seem to be doing that work. Mm -hmm. Whatever that work is. <laughs> I don't know. Obviously I came out here after work today. Um, my work. And the sun is trying to go down. Now unfortunately I live in that direction over there where the sun is going down. I don't really particularly want to drive in that direction right now. Because <laughs> I don't particularly like being blinded while I'm driving. Yeah, here's another entrance to the Nordstrom's. I tell you, when they first put these up, oh man, this it just seemed monstrous how much bigger it was going to be when it reopened. But uh, right now it is, well, look, look at that. It does say in and out. It does say in and out for that. It also says to keep six feet between yourself and the person in front of you and behind you. So that is an entrance, but it's also gated off. So normal people like me don't just walk right in. I'm not even going to test the doors. down here. Um, I don't know. I don't often come to this. This is actually a newer section of mall here. They, they extended it out and put another hallway down here. Uh, I see there's an H&M down here. I don't think I've ever been into it. I don't go into a lot of clothing shops. Um, yeah. There's a PDX luggage in an Abercrombie over here, it looks like. There is curbside pickup for the Cheesecake Factory. The west deck of it, anyway. There is a Cheesecake Factory over here, yes. And there are some cars here, too. I see them. Forgot to look at that. Over here, not so much. I mean, there are some over there. there so there are some people still working in this large mall. They really are. And that's great for them. And I actually smell food in the air, so I know that they are cooking something. Here's another entrance. Uh, there's a William Sonoma, California here. And stuff. Those doors are also all locked at the moment. That's cool. They, they are actually getting rid, ready for their summertime thing. That's cute. Look at this. That's actually a very cute dress. Nice. I like the uh, stars on that. That's cute. So, there is open for pickup. Okay, cool. Well, so this clothing store is actually open. Beautiful is actually open. 40% off everything. And you can even order online and they will deliver it to your car in the parking lot right over here. 
Very cool. Very cool. There's mall security again. Also very cool. This place is closed. It's a better sleep place. I think people are sleeping just fine. They're getting a ton of practice at it. <laughs> this is another Sephora location right here. And there's also a Tesla location here. Um, yeah. You know who? You want to buy your car out of a mall? Go ahead. <laughs> the only, uh, the only plus that I can see to trying to buy my car out of a mall is if I can drive around and, you know, in the mall, but they're not about to let that happen, so, whatever. Welcome back, friend. We missed you. That's where. I do have to admit, I miss walking around in here. There's always so many faces to see, so many smiles and excited people. I can totally tell the Cheesecake Factory here is still open. There are people in this car right here talking. I can hear their voices. This person's walking doggos. And they are doing online ordering and delivering at the Cheesecake Factory. That's pretty cool. It's a good freaking restaurant. Their bread that they give for free is fantastic. But it is a carb overload and I have left that place thinking I was going to die. But it was so good. And their food's not bad usually either. These um, jewelry stores... I don't know if they're going to be able to survive this. I mean, if it's all online for them, I'm sure they've got online orders going on, but, uh, you know, if their storefront is in a place where they're paying tens of thousands in rent every month, and they're not making anything for a few months, that's going to be, that's got to be detrimental to their uh, business. Uh, this is the Macy's. They are totally closed up. Look, they even got gates in front. They got like, they've got gates in front of their closed doors. I liked Macy's better when it was Myron Frank. Really. Really. And we're about to go into another, uh, parking garage over here. The Macy's parking garage. Yes. It is so strange to see next to nobody parking these lots. These lots. I'm not kidding when I say these lots are usually filled up. They really are. This is, uh, and I'm coming late into the game. If I had been here like at the very start of the COVID-19 thing, lockdown, I'm sure this lot would be empty. Pretty much empty. Um, but now, so late into it, when so few people are actually paying attention to the lockdown orders, yeah, it's not nearly as deserted as it used to be. But still very cool, look at this. Undercover parking. There's one car out there. I don't even know if that's parked here, though. That could be a different building. Okay. Making our way around. There are people skating. We're getting close to... Uh, what? Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, right now there are still a few anchor stores here. They say Nordstrom's and Dick's Sporting Goods. Oh, they don't even say Nordstrom's one of them. They say Dick's Sporting Goods and uh, Burlington Coat Factory, which is actually in another mall way far away here, um, are two of the anchors still for this. And they say Dick's Sporting Goods is going away. 
And that doesn't surprise me because that place was always empty. <laughs> I rarely saw anybody in that place. Not that I went in there too often. But when I did, the place was empty. And I'm not saying they didn't have good quality products. I'm sure they probably supplied for some professional teams or something. Or maybe some high school teams. Because it's a big layout for their store. And they had to be making money somehow. Although I also never saw too many people working in there. Hmm. That's okay. There are some cars parked over here. Uh, these are... Are these the same ones I saw earlier? We're getting close to the bus center again. Or I will end this video. Hopefully I can upload the thing. Oh, look, these people even have masks on. That's great. Good for them. Good for the people who can find the masks. I go to the store all the freaking time. Hey, look, this store is actually open. Look at that. That's pretty cool. This door is actually open. Oh. Look at this. Oh, I think they're told not to go in there. That's cool. He's directing them. This store is actually open, and there are some people in there walking around. Well, I think most of them are employees. That's really cool. Very cool, very cool. So up here is the station again. And it looks like there's a tour bus there. I don't know. I don't take the bus very often anymore. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's not a painting I'm used to seeing on a bus in, or, in the uh, area. Maybe. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's where I'll leave it off. That's where I'll leave it off. But man, oh man, is this just weird to see. So empty. Really, so empty. Oh, man. It's just not right. It's just, it's just not right. And it's not like I didn't expect to see this. In fact, there are more people than here right now than I expected to see at all. But that's my own fault for coming so late into the uh, COVID-19 game, right? But yeah, that's it. The Washington Square Mall in Oregon. Mostly closed. There, there were a few places open. But uh, otherwise, just dead. Just dead. That's okay. Alright. That is a bus 62, apparently. That's not where I want him to go, so that's okay. <laughs> that's going to the Sunset Transit Center. I didn't want to go there. That's fine. Alright. Bye-bye.